Predator, amazing, great action movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Predator 2, Danny Glover. <laughs> Not as good as the first, but it's still a pretty good damn movie. And we got Predators. I enjoyed it. I mean, I just, I enjoyed it, but it, it, it was all right, you know. The Predator. It's Benny One, and I'm back at you with another movie review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the last Predator movie, everybody. The 2018 <laughs> The Predator. That is correct. One of them kind of reviews, everybody. So, this movie tells the story of a group of ex ragtag military soldiers teaming up with a biologist scientist uh, to take out our new hybrid cool whatever predator they ugh. I don't like the new predator I don't that CG hybrid ugliness whatever give me my traditional predators somebody in a costume playing the predator I don't like that shit I'm sorry I didn't like it I thought it was stupid yeah so let's get into this Shane Black directed this movie everybody and I will dive into that once I'm done introducing the cast to this movie, everybody. So, our main star and uh, military guy is Boyd Hallbrock, plays Quinn. And him and some ragtag soldiers that he kind of gets together because of some circumstances that they're all in at the moment. Uh, Travant Rhodes plays Nebraska. He's probably like his, like, second, if they were, a military group, second in command or whatever. But, uh, and then Jacob, uh, Tremblay, he plays Roy. He plays, uh, Quinn's son. Um, and I kind of, I kind of connected to that relationship and the, the son because he's on the autism spectrum and my son is autistic. So, I connected with that in the movie really well. Um, I did think that they actually took that character, like his son, I think they took that a little too far at the end of the movie, honestly, but not like in a bad way, but I was just like, really? Come on, you guys. Like, what? I, whatever. Um, let's see here. Sterling K. Brown plays uh, Traeger. He's kind of like the villain military government person in the movie. All of these movies kind of have one. Olivia Munn plays Casey. All right. She plays the damn scientist, the biologist. What I don't know exactly what title. I'm pretty sure she's a biologist in the movie. She just all of a sudden becomes this badass military-esque chick in this movie. And she's a scientist. They don't say that she has any military training at all in the movie, but yet she just all of a sudden can shoot. I just, I'm sorry. It's just like, really? Like, you could have at least said that she's had a background in something. Like, she grew up hunting or something, but like, she just is all of a sudden this like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but a girl, like, I'm, I, it's not believable, I'm sorry, it just is not believable at all, and I couldn't believe it one bit, I just found it odd, like, it is weird, Jake Busey is in this movie, everybody, that's right, he is the son of fucking Busey, everybody, that is right, everyone, Excuse my French. He plays Keys, actually. Um, in which his dad played Keys in the second uh, Predator movie. So, I thought that was really cool. Cool little Easter egg. He doesn't have a huge part in the movie. But, um, but yeah. It was, it was, I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, cool. That's a cool little Easter egg. And they did have Easter eggs in the movie. They had things from all the movies. This movie actually did bring up... Predator 2, that it exists, which is cool. The third one didn't do that. And then Brian A. Pierce plays the actual Predator, someone in the Predator costume, 
the cool predator, the predator that should have been in the damn movie. And the thing that pisses me off about that is I feel like this movie did what Jurassic Park 3 did with the T-Rex. They show the T-Rex. They got this new stupid hybrid dinosaur or whatever the hell. And then it just, blah, the T-Rex doesn't matter. And it's like, really? The thing that has made your movies cool over the years, you're just going to disrespect it like that and throw it off to the side like it, blah, like it's nothing? Bullshit. I'm sorry. Like, it's not okay with me. I don't like that crap. So Shane Black directed this movie. And I was like, holy hell. Okay, because I haven't seen this until I watched it last night. Literally, I watched this whole movie when I got off work last night. I was like, Shane Black directed this. I didn't watch any reviews of it. I didn't. I watched the trailers over two years ago before the movie came out. So I completely forgot about anything about the movie. I was like, Shane Black directed this. He was in the first Predator movie. He was like a ghost writer on the movie, I found out, um, about a week ago. So I was like, cool. He knows what a good Predator movie is. He was in one. He kind of helped write scenes in it. So I was like, this could be the best Predator since the first one. Wrong! Not at it. No, this movie was not very good, you guys. It had action. It had some cool Predator moments. It did. Um, I mean, there was even a few cool things that that new, ugly, hybrid Predator thing did. But, I mean, outside of that, the characters mostly, I didn't really care about. Except for uh, Quinn and his son, Rory. Roy? Rory, Jesus. I just, uh, you guys, the dogs. They had these, like, Predator dog-looking things. Okay, like, they literally did not serve a point in the movie, honestly. It would have been cool to see them, like, go nuts and just eat some people and shit, but, like, they did not. Oh, that's another cool thing. They actually showed the OG Predator bite somebody, like, with his, like, they actually showed him bite somebody. I was like, holy hell, that's the first time they've ever done that. I thought that was kind of cool. See, now that right there tells you what kind of movie this is when seeing the predator bite somebody in the arm is what gets me all excited about the movie that tells you what kind of movie this is you guys i'm sorry at least for me it just the movie it's all over the place the pacing is not good the plot holes galore like ugh. and it's studio execs messed with this movie they messed with this movie completely they, there were reshoots galore that i swear like from like 2016 to 2019, those were like the years of studio execs, especially at like Warner Brothers, messing with movies. Like, because this movie was supposed to be two and a half hours long and they cut it to under two hours. Like, why do you guys do that crap? Let these people make these damn movies, you guys. Jesus Christ. Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. It's stupid. But yeah, the movie was a mess. A complete freaking mess. It was. Um, I think they should let the Predator franchise rest after this. Um, like seriously, just let it rest for a while. Let it rest for a good decade and then let's revisit it. Because damn, people, damn. I'm giving this movie a 5 out of 10. It's the worst Predator movie by far. Um, it makes the third Predator movie look amazing in my opinion. So, and I... Was that one literally was third place. I, I thought it was going to be in last place. But no. This train wreck of a freaking movie is in last place. Out of 5 out of 10 everybody. That's right. That was my review for The Predators. <laughs> Alright everybody. I'll be catching y'all on the tube laters. Because I have spoken.